Yo guys, what is up? Today I'm gonna be doing Q&A. It's been a while since I've done Q&A. There's a few new things to talk about. There haven't been that many questions. Um, under this video, leave any questions that you have for the next Q&A. But let's just get into it, guys. I hope you enjoy finding out interesting facts about me and learning some stuff. Let's go. So the first question is, um, I'm effing jealous, man. How long have you been going for? Well, I've been, like, it's it's a long story, you know, but let, let's just quickly sum it up. So, at the age of, like, 11 to 12, I got really interested in working out, but all I did was, like, push-ups, pull-ups. So, I did that for a period. I had a decent, like, looking skinny boy physique, but I did have abs and all that. And after that, I got sick, I got, I quit and all that. So, by the time I was 13, I didn't train at all. Over time, I also moved, stuff changed, I started working out. So, if we sum it up... I've been doing bodybuilding for about a year and a half. The other six months of training that I did from 13 to 15, um, I was just doing push-ups basically. But like bodybuilding has been a year and a half. I've gained some experience. You know, I, I love doing it. It's just my life now. It's my lifestyle. So yeah, around a year and a half, but I always, I was always in some decent shape, decent genetics. All right, so this guy's saying, how about wrestling? Right, let's, let's add some context to this because that sounds confusing. What, he, what he's asking is, um, why don't I make videos of me wrestling my friends? Right, well, I just don't think that many people are going to watch it, but that does sound good, and that does sound like something we can try out. But something else that I think could happen in the future is definitely an MMA fight with one of my friends. Anyone, I'll do an MMA fight. I could also post my friends. I don't know if they'll be down for that. Some of them might be shy of their face, which is... Which is kind of stupid, but hey, that's them. That's their privacy. But anyways, yeah, I think an MMA fight, I could do that. Matter of fact, I'm having, I got equipment coming today. I've got this like really good set of stuff. Now it's going to be like more professional because it's been like almost a day since I've posted the video of me boxing my friend. And wow, like really good views, like 400 views already, which is really good because lately my channel has been dead. But that video is doing really good so yeah i'm considering posting fight videos because they seem to be doing really good they're really fun to make so why not so i'm not sure about making a wrestling video but future boxing videos or mma fights or kickboxing fights yeah i'm down for that i like that idea well this is this is a, such a random one and such a quick one do i have a girlfriend yes i do i've been dating her for like five months so yeah i'm a happy taken man that's it how much do I weigh? I weigh like 155, like 157. So it's like 71 kilograms, pretty much. 71, 72. I'm in that range right now. Yeah. This is a good one. How often do you work out? Okay. It actually really depends. I also don't really have like a proper schedule or what workout do I hit in a day. I just like, you know, I've, I trained back, then I trained biceps, then I trained chest, then I trained legs. Next week, I trained back, blah, blah, blah. Like... How I feel, really, I just adapt like that. If you want to talk about how much I train a week, I would say it's like five times. Because also sometimes I uh, just do cardio training. So I'll go for a run, I'll spar with my friends, I'll just like punch um, the bag, do some pad work with them, all that stuff. Because a workout for me is not just bodybuilding anymore. I'm mixing up my training, I'm making it more fun and entertaining. So I'm not, only, I'm not going just bodybuilding mode. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like five to six times a week. That's how I do it. Nice physique, bro. Thanks. How much protein do you get daily? I've answered this before. I don't like count really. I, maybe I will in the future, but I don't count how much protein I get. I try to eat as much meat as I can, um, as much healthy natural foods because it's really good for the body. It's going to help me grow. So I can't even give you a number because all I'll be doing is just guessing. So I'm not even going to lie to you. That's my answer. This is so stupid. You ever think about hopping on? I'm going to say absolutely not because all the side effects and all that stuff from the steroids, I don't want that. Like, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with my physique right now and it's definitely going to improve. I'm only 15, you know. In the future, when I find the best training for me and all that stuff, I'll look amazing. I'll be in tip top shape and I won't need any steroids. So, and I don't recommend anyone to take steroids. It's really terrible if you actually look into it and watch videos where professional guys are explaining what it does. It literally destroys you. No way I'm doing that. Right now, in my opinion, no way in my life I'll do that. I'm sure I won't need to. This guy's saying, how are you so lean? Well, I'm not actually that lean, but I really appreciate his compliment. 
there is no secret to it okay i just eat food it's healthy i don't try to eat a lot of junk food and i'd say my exercises engage the core like i don't even really do anything for my abs but they're, they're just genetics really my abs are good because it's genetics so there is no secret to it i just train often and eat quite healthy and i've been eating quite healthy for my whole life to be honest my mom has always been providing me with a good diet so props to her thanks to her really maybe that's why i look really good i don't know but i appreciate the compliment bro oh this is an interesting one do you speak russian yeah i do speak russian also i speak ukrainian because that's also where i'm from quite common for ukrainian to speak russian you know, so I know three languages is quite fun, an interesting fact about me. Yeah. Okay, this one's kind of weird. Why does he not shave his body? I don't know, why would I Why would I shave, like, this hair? There's, like, hardly any hair. And it, it looks okay. It's just hair. It's normal. I, I, don't, I don't understand this question. I, like, shave my armpits because, yeah, you smell more if you have that armpit hair. It doesn't really look that nice. Okay, that's understandable. But this, I don't, I don't see any point in shaving that. It's just natural hair. It's okay. So, yeah, I, I don't understand this question. I just don't. There's, like, no reason, no particular reason. I just don't. It it's, doesn't bother me or anything. It looks okay. So, yeah. And here is the last question. How many pull-ups do I do? I'm going to be honest. It's been a while since I've done pull-ups. I'm not exactly sure about how many I can do now. But I'm guessing I could do 25 at least. If I couldn't, I would be disappointed. But I think I could do 25. Because I'd be doing pull-ups with weights all the time. It's just in my workout. And I'm sure that if I do it without the weight, it'll be way easier. Because I do it with 10 kilograms and I do 12 reps. In the past, I used to be able to do 20 plus pull-ups. I'm sure now I could do more than that. So 25, I'm guessing, something like that. And you should also do pull-ups too. You know, one of my friends who does bodybuilding, you'll know him, LDC lifts the ginger who appears in some of my videos. I've talked to him. He can't do many pull-ups, although he is a strong guy and he's like in good shape. But bro can do only like three to four pull-ups. That's wild. He's strong, he's got all the capabilities, but he can't do pull-ups. That's bad, because pull-ups are a very natural movement with your weight. And you should be able to do a lot of them. It's just a very important, natural-based movement. So, I think you should consider getting a pull-up bar, anyone who's watching this. It's a good exercise, the best for the back. Better than them stupid lat pull-downs. It's just more natural, more engaging in your back. So, yeah. And it's cheaper. Hey, buying a pull-up bar ain't expensive. Buying a, a lat pull-down machine in your home gym is wild. I mean, even if you go to a gym, just do them pull-ups, bro. Trust. You you probably won't even need weights on your back while you're starting to achieve like eight reps and fail. Just do the pull-ups, wide grip pull-ups like around here. It's good for you. Trust me, bro. Trust me. Right, guys, that's going to be pretty much not that many questions. I'm going to be honest, but hey, for the people that like to watch me, trying to find out a bit more about me, there you go. This is a nice video. If you want an actual good Q&A and some interesting type questions, um, ask them. Because I will end up making a new Q&A. Just leave the questions in the comments. I hope this blows up because I, I enjoy it. Yo, what was that voice crack? Bro. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> My God, that was bad. I enjoy making this type of videos. You know, talk about myself. It's quite interesting, quite fun. It's something that I'm obviously the best at doing, talking about myself. Anyone is. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Love you lots. Appreciate you. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.